All right, welcome back to another episode of Round Ball. It is myself, Marty Mush, Hunter Dickinson, Jordan Bohannon, and our newly added producer slash mid-major savant, Dukes. How you, Dukes, how are you doing? Good. You know, last night Dayton started, so I'm a little okay, bit happier. Trapped, we got, we got one, one and oh, one and oh. That's All right. Good. Uh, hey, dudes, can you get Dayton out of my fucking mentions? I tweet one, I t- one fucking thing about Top and not deserving the player of the year like three years ago, and they still are tweeting at me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's true, of, Jordan. It's true. <laughs> there's a rivalry I, between Dayton and Iowa, like, for sure, because of that year. They fucking hate me. I, did, I said one thing. I didn't even say anything bad about the guy. Let me tell you, this might be the most, like, like hated show. Like, three people that really, like – Hunter really even they were talk Hunter during your game they were talking like yeah he really he's outspoken he he pisses people off he they literally were talking about that during the game and I was like that's my guy and obviously Jordan fucking half the Big Ten hates you <laughs> the whole Big Ten the whole Big I Ten likes me Rutgers kind of likes you Rucker yeah Rutgers even some people in team. Iowa were not talking fondly about Jordan that's true that's that's just that's that means you're doing something right though that's mm-hmm. always what it is. That's what you got to keep telling yourself. <laughs> not, uh, you don't got no haters. You ain't popping. That's my motto, Jordan. That's facts. That facts. is facts. Um, all right. So I want to. We want to get into all the games that happened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's first start off with Monday. Hunter, you played Purdue Fort Wayne or some bullshit, <laughs> right? Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne the Mastodons. There was an Indiana before the Purdue. Wow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you you uh dominated early, you dominated the entire game. Um, you took a little tumble at one point. It was, I didn't know if you could, you were a little slow to get up. You you're got such a long ass fucking body, it took you a little bit to get up. But uh you did it, you were doing your I'll tell you this, when you dunk it, bro, and you you do your little your little this is so funny to me. I love it. <laughs> Is that your go-to celebration right there? What? 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 I, when I what? It's like you go like the, <laughs> oh, yeah, like your yeah. shoulders come out more, and you do your flex like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can you stand up and do it? I haven't seen it. Yet. I don't remember. Can you, you stand go? up? Yeah. <laughs> come on, show I'll, I'll send you a picture. No, I haven't seen oh, it. Come I just, on, show I just, us a little. I just want to see like... the person. Yeah, just stand yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, just stand up and do it. <laughs> no, like you have to get you get behind the chair. <laughs> he's, he's too he's tall. like all the way back to the wall. No, yeah, Little yeah, wall. that's gotta, it. You gotta let to see the people what I'm doing on the buys and tries, man. That's true. Um, but first of all, I guess we have to Jordan. I guess if we have to clap for what he, he scored a thousand points in oh, his yeah. first game as a junior. Did you? How many points did, did you score? A thousand points, bro, Jordan. I scored two thousand. <laughs> I played 179 games. Oh my god, that's a lot yeah, of that's games. That's a lot of fucking games. That's so, how many games have you played on? Mm, like about probably like 80. Yeah, it's, it's a, a little lot. different. It's a little different though because I shoot the ball from 35 feet. He literally shoots layups all all games. So. <laughs> but wouldn't that make it you get a lot more like threes than him? Yeah, but I'm saying I take more. I took more heavily. Difficult, more difficult shots than Hunter. You, Hunter? I mean, you didn't have Zach Eady guarding you. Hunter, remember when I brought you out on, on an island at, at Michigan last year? And that was a good shot. Two, that was a good shot. I'll, I'll top two threes that. in your face, one to begin the game. That was a good shot. I'll give you that. You <laughs> ran back, just... he's like, damn. <laughs> well, I know, it was a good shot. I remember that. Just one. coming up now that you, you took him out on an island? Yeah. It was, it was a good shot. All right. I knew he was shooting it too. That was the bad thing. Like I knew he was gonna pull up. It just it was a good shot. I, I thought it was good defense too, by the way. Mm. And down a little bit. So how's it uh, what how's it feel getting a thousand points? Yeah, what Victor Victor Oladipo fucking putting you on a story? Oh yeah, well I mean he went to my high school. Really? Yeah, DeMatha. Get get him on here, huh? We 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 can we can get some Dematha people on here for sure, Marty. We should get we. I want to guest all the time. I want to talk it's, as much Demath shit as I can. Brother. We got as much Markel shit as I can. Fultz, Jeremy Grant, 
Chase Young. Uh, well, we're going to football. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got those football guys. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting a ton right now. Quinn Cook. That's I. Uh, I would jerk him off real fast, <laughs> real fast. Yep. <laughs> Marty, no, how many people? Danny how many Ferry. people ooh. Danny Ferry. Marty, yes, how many people? How many people you think you would like actually jerk off? Because you say you've said that a couple of times in the podcast. Well, probably it's probably like what's the Coach, line? Coach K, he would not much would come out now, but it would it would be him, <laughs> um, him, uh, Zion, probably Zion. It's mostly Duke people. I would jerk off. Joey Baker. Joey Baker, no, I, he's gonna be my. I'm gonna. Really? Hate him. I think I might hate him for this year because every bro he hit one three yesterday during a Michigan game and I got my whole mentions. No, the first one he hit, all my mentions were Joey Baker because I loved him at first. I was like, this guy's gonna be legit, and then he couldn't hit a fucking he couldn't hit shit at Duke. But he's gonna be good for us. He played well yesterday too. I'll give him that. But uh, how was the, how was first game? How was first game? Jit is Jet looked fucking legit. He's a he's a Actual really good player. I didn't know how good he was going to be. He's legit. Uh, you guys, were, you guys have a good, a good six seven. Your, your backups really pissed me the fuck off, but your six seven is pretty good. How'd it feel? Yeah, no, it was good. You know, to be back uh, the season. You know, a real game. You know, the exhibition we played on Friday was fun, but you know, it didn't really count. But uh, first game back, you know, there's a a little bit of jitters. You know, for the first game, but. You know, right when the tip-off happens, all that goes away. And I was really glad just to go out there and, you know, play pretty well uh, to start the year. I feel like it was a good, you know, first game for me and the rest of the team. Like you said, Jet had a great game. But I think, you know, we had a lot of contributions from a lot of different guys. Uh, Kobe played great defensively, um, did a great job of, you know, setting up guys. Uh, Doug and Jalen, the two-point guards, did a good job of running, you know, the team and stuff like that. Terrence was solid as ever. And so – you know, I think it was a good team effort. I think it was a good first game for us, uh, starting off the season strong, uh, heading into a tough opponent versus Eastern Michigan on Friday. And that's that's the next question. How you feel about everyone's kind of – I don't know about talking about them for the right reasons, but Amoni Bates, um, this man, I feel like he's been here for so long in college basketball because all I heard was he's – I went to Memphis and he just didn't want to be there at all. And that team fucking fell apart, but then kind of came back against Gonzaga. I thought they were going to beat Gonzaga in the yeah. tournament, but then he leaves. And everyone kind of thought he was going to go to like a Michigan or just like a top tier team. And then he ends up at his home in Eastern Michigan. So are you guys, what's the scouting report? How do you feel about playing him? Man, we're, we're excited because, you know, it should be a highly anticipated game. Uh, we're playing at the Pistons Arena, so hopefully, you know, it'll be a, a really good crowd. But I think, the you know, the thing with Amani was it's hard when you got so much pressure on you. Starting from when you're like a seventh or eighth grader, people are already comparing you to KD. I can't imagine the kind of, you know, pressure and stress that he's got to endure on a daily basis. And then when you come into college being like – he skipped the grade, so he was already – it's hard enough being a freshman in college, but when you skip a grade and go up, like, it, it's extremely hard, especially when your body hasn't filled out. Like, Jordan knows, like, you're playing against men out there. And for you to be, like, a 17-year-old kid, it's got to, it's, it's super tough, super tough to try to go and play high division one. So I'd expect, you know, a better year from him this year, uh, having another year of, um, you know, training and stuff like that, especially in the weight room. I, I'm, I'm expecting a good year out of him. Hopefully not too good um, on Friday, um, you know, uh, they got also Noah Farrakhan, who was a really good uh, high school player coming out. And so, you know, it should be a good test for us. Uh, hopefully, you know, the guys are ready and prepared for, you know, a dogfight out there. Talk some shit out there, huh? Talk some shit. Just, I, I want you to keep uh, keep being vocal because they – let me tell you, it was a suck fest for Hunter Dickinson watching that game, by the way. Oh, my God. I love you so much. It was a suck fest. It was this, they were like, oh, this guy, he's a leader now. He talks up. Uh, you, you guys don't have Eli Brooks anymore, so it's like Hunter. He, everyone respects him. Yeah, we get it. We get it. He's the best fucking player. We understand. And then I just want him to dump the ball. <laughs> I mean, and obviously, you, I think we're going to win, Marty. Like, what? I said, obviously, I think we're going to win. 
Yeah, you better yeah, fucking win. Yeah, but you got to get more than that. Like, come on. Yeah, what, 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 you think a tabloid's going to pick up we're going to win? That that Jed and Monty matchup is going to be serious, I think. I hope – I mean, I, we, haven't come, we haven't had the um, game plan yet, so I don't know who's going to guard Imani, but if Jed is on him, that's going to be – that's gonna be a matchup to watch. That is, that is. Um, all right, that's a, that's your Michigan talk for the first part of the show. I had a take um, yesterday or two days ago that I said by January the number one seeded UNC Tar Heels will not be ranked anymore, and I got ratioed for sure. <laughs> and I understand everyone's like, oh, he's biased. He's a Duke fan, whatever. I there's definitely part of that, but there's also a part that they were not good last year until the tournament. They were a nine seed. They bear like if they didn't get in, no one would be like, no one would blink an eye. Like, oh, they didn't really play that fucking well in a really down ACC. The ACC was not very good last year at all. They, they were lucky to get four or five teams in there, even though they ended up doing really well in the tournament. They got hot, but they I don't like when everyone's like, the returners are coming back. The returners are coming back. Everyone's returning. Remember St. Bonaventure last year? Everyone was like, oh, they're five No, seasons. we're not doing that. Yeah, Marty, doing that. Marty, we're Marty. We're Marty, not Marty. doing that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What the yeah. fuck is that comparison? What, what? St. Bonaventure were, wasn't good the year before that either. Were they ranked at the beginning of the year, St. Bonaventure? That was that was a suck fest and a half. They shouldn't have made the tournament <laughs> the year before. But that. that's what they're doing to UNC. COVID year. Yes. COVID year. Like, I know UNC is good. Like I'm not saying they're not good. Like they're gonna still be a good team, but they're not the best team in the country. And everyone's sucking them off like they did. It's the same thing as UCLA. You that's see not what you tweeted. You said they're not gonna be ranked. That's yeah, they're not, not gonna be ranked. That's gonna be hard, Marty. They're not gonna be ranked. Oh, Hunter, don't no, yo, no, no. We're I'm not saying, doing that. I don't think, we're I'm not doing be that because before be be the show, you were saying you were agreeing with them. <laughs> nope, we're not doing that. It could be hard for them not to be ranked, Jordan. I have them in my final four. He does. That's <laughs> fair. He does. That's on a graphic. I th- they're gonna That's have to on be ranked. A graphic. <laughs> it's on a graphic somewhere. Somewhere oh, somebody wait. DM First somebody all, DM me that graphic. Shout out. You, the, he said he listens. Shout out you. For the graphic. You know what? I'm going to shout him out because he deserves a shout out because he also made the graphic of well, – I'm going to bring that up as well. But uh, Pat, while you're doing that, Marty, it's going to be hard for them not to be ranked because I think the ACC is not going to be that good this year. There's not that many good teams, I don't think. Duke, UNC, Virginia is going to be – But then after that, it's like, I mean, Florida State. Or we're going to bring up the upsets. We'll, we'll, State, bring, up, we'll bring them up. I'm a fan Syracuse. of Florida State. I love Coach Ham. Syracuse but. will be decent. Miami will be pretty good. Virginia Tech is going to be tough. Yeah. I think, I think they're going to be better than what you think. In my um, Pat, Pat, from, Pat from WPG. I'm guessing that's Winnipeg. Maybe not. But Shout that's, out Pat. that's our guy. Um, but, dude, I, I, I just don't – I mean, I watched their game yesterday, too. I know it's the first game. You can't take much from it. But, like, they played way better than their expectations in the tournament. Like – like love and they like they all like obviously Baycott's gonna get his buckets. He's gonna he's gonna get what he's gonna like he you know what you're getting from him every game. But those guards played outrageous in March. Outrageous. I don't think they can keep that up completely. Uh I just adding something here, you also said the same thing about UCLA last year after their March Madness run. But that was you were kind of right. No, I was right. UCLA was a top 15 team last year. That's like well, undeniable. They were, they, were, they were number one. They're like, okay. I don't know if well, they were top 15. They were top 15 throughout the entire year. And that's what I think UNC will be. The thing with UNC this year will be, last year they had Brady Maddock, who was a great addition for that entire run. Kind of was like the heart and soul of that team. What can Nance do? Nance is from Northwestern. How can he fit in and like kind of Nance like, is really good. Yeah, how can he throw? It's really dependent, I think, on him, how far I UNC mean, goes. I, I think – a lot of it's going to end on – Nance is a key part of it. But if they don't have a bench, which they did not at the first game of the year, I will go along with Marty. They are very weak on their depth. And I think they only had, what, six bench points on yeah. – six or eight bench points. If they don't have people that step up, I might agree with you. But also, 
they have some really great the top five guys. They're one of the their most talented top five starting lineup in the entire country. And that's but you also both know that that bench is a huge part of it. Like that is a huge part of having the bench. And like UCLA last year, everyone was like this team. Oh my God, they're all coming back. They made the final four. They have to be good. They were a fucking 11 seed who barely got in. They played the play in game. Like UNC was a, yeah, UCLA did when they, then they went to the final four. Like, I just don't. Did they win that game? Obviously, they went to the final four. You no, know, right? no, I'm saying, but this last year, did they? Play? They lost to UNC in the Sweet 16. Yeah, oh. but I'm, I mean, I'm just... I would say any team that got to the Sweet 16 is pretty elite basketball team. Yep, you're right, Jordan. Absolutely right about that. Yeah, a... absolutely right about <laughs> you that. Lost to the Sweet 16 too. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't. Uh, I think it's everyone's. It's a clear cut. Like UNC is the best team in the country, and I don't believe that. Puff Johnson was also out last night. For what that's worth, I mean, he played pretty well in the championship game overall last year. He didn't do much, but he's definitely going to be a key player for that. I, don't, I just don't think Puff Johnson's the guy to be like, oh, he was out. Like, Duke had white. Well, no, he, he is their bench player, though, Marty. Yeah. Like, that, yeah, you have to like, say that. Like, Puff, Puff Johnson's Johnson was not, out. Yeah. Puff Johnson's going to score so seven you, points a game. You could make the argument that he was the best player in the championship game last year for UNC, or the most important. One, but that's one game. Exactly. Uh, the national yes. championship game. What do you mean? That's one game. It's pretty. Yeah, they got hot at game. the right time. They got hot at the right time. So that's a good fucking team. Game. Right Even Chenzo got an NBA career off the championship yeah. game. <laughs> fucking tied to Rome with Virginia. We got should an NBA know. contract off that shit. That is true. But I'm just saying we're we're gonna see. I mean, what's their what's UNC's first big game? I'm gonna look real fast. They their first big games in Iowa the State. State. Oh, Indiana. At that's Indiana. gonna be a good game. Wait. No, they play. Well, they play the Phil Knight. So they play Iowa State or Villanova. Yeah, they play Iowa State or Villanova. That'll be the first true test. When's that? I don't think Iowa State's really going to be doing. I mean, Villanova will win. Well, that's their first Power Five conference team that they play. That Indiana game. That's gonna. And it's at Indiana. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's at it's at Assembly Hall. So that game is going to be. That's a big test, and that's also another team. That has a lot to live up to this year because they will legitimately, they I got told like I said before they will probably stop the program if they don't make the tournament this year. We'll learn a lot after that game of both teams, I think as well. I think Indiana has a harder schedule out of the whole country this year. Really? Yeah. I was. They have a stretch that is. I can't remember exactly what their stretch was, but I think Indiana. Uh, you're right. Our stretch at the end of the season is crazy. Oh, they play yeah. Arizona and Kansas. Virginia's yeah. a tough one, too. Indiana go, yeah, UNC, uh, Nebraska, Kansas. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, I said that and wrong. Kansas, too? They play Arizona, too. Um, Arizona. Arizona might be nice. Yeah, year. they have a lot of good non con They play Xavier. Yeah. Yeah, Arizona, might, will, Arizona will be good. I might regret. They might be a dark horse. Playing on the Ooh. West Coast, nobody really watches them. Arizona, yeah, that's not a fucking dark. They're good. they're good. A dark, a dark horse because horse. you're never gonna watch them, Jordan. I know what he's saying. It's like East Coast bias because uh, you I watch know. the they're on at like eleven o'clock. It's kind of like Gonzaga. You fall if you fall asleep, you kind of wake up. Gonzaga you're not watching that. Bullpen. Yeah, just as this fucking San Jose State game, I'm falling. What the fuck am I betting on? Down fourteen. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Did you guys? I, did you guys see that Indiana is trying to switch their student sections? So they're trying to go from like all the way up top, like the student sections are in the 400s. Now that the players are trying to get them to go behind the hoops. And I think they're I, trying to do that for the UNC game. I mean, they, that, they any school hoops. that. No, I saw like uh, Anthony Leal and I figured someone else was like in the bar stool. In they're Indiana. behind the hoops. They might be trying to get them behind the bench, which I disagree. That should be illegal. Indiana's behind the bench, though, is like literally on the bench. Yeah, that that's was, what I'm saying. Yeah, me and Marty did that. I sat so, there. Yeah, yeah, someone's going to get hit. Like, like fans going to punch I know. Them. I'd be kind of scared for my safety if that happened. Yeah. Do you no, guys they don't, can't allow that. You guys don't think that um, that the student section should be, like, that close? I if mean, I was an Indiana player, yeah. So. If I'm a Michigan player, no. Yeah, that's uh, that's completely fair. <laughs> I mean, Purdue's like I want that to too. As far as possible. Yeah, <laughs> that's completely. That was a pretty dumb question. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I, I think Indiana has a lot to live up to. A lot of teams do because I, and I will say with the transfer portal, it takes a, a little bit to get adjusted of what, te- what guys are on what teams. You get a little surprised. Like, I'm like, oh, fuck, that guy's on this team? Because <laughs> everyone's moving so fast, dude. I think um, it's awesome. It is it awesome. It should have been like that. Systems at Carbon State. You don't even know. Yeah, like what? It should have been like Coppin this all the, all the time. Um, I'm not going to say anything about Duke because everyone – I always do, but I have to say one thing about them. Quick update. Come on. Oh, Ryan God. Young, he is he has the most heart in all of sports. <laughs> that guy, Marty, you're gonna love him. That I love him. Is very good. Like, if you give him the ball, he will score a bucket. He's like, he reminds oh, me. Okay, of, okay, okay. He Let's reminds me of uh, what's his name from Crutwig. Is that his name from Loyola Crutwig? Chicago? Oh. Yes, he oh, reminds the, me. He's a, he's a sloppy. He's a sloppy, sweaty mess on the court. Ugly son of a bitch, but he he loves basketball and he gets hyped up. He like, was basketball. a bucket, bro. He averaged ten points off the bench. That's hard to do. No, he's a great player, but I'm saying like he's a bucket every time he gets the ball. Is a well, low Duke kind of needs that with like they're gonna have these studs on the team. Like Filipowski's should be good. Uh, Whitehead, fucking what's his name? Yeah, lively. They have the one two. It's like it's just like Barrett and Zion. Like we have the one and two guy. We probably should fucking do something. But you know, not going to talk about that yet because they're scumbags. But I just that guy. I love a guy who just is disgusting on the court. No, it, it, no one wants to cover him because he's just sweating like a pig. Um, all right. So, Dukes, I want you to bring me through some of the uh, the upsets. All right. So there was. Some big upsets yesterday. Um, you know, you saw USC. USC lost, obviously, to Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, Stetson beat Florida State. So then, what, stop, what stop at USC? Was, like, USC, were you guys, like, really surprised that happened? I think the biggest thing for me was just the karma of Andy Enfield coaching at Florida Gulf Coast in that run. Yeah. Well, what were they called? Dunk, Dunk, Dunk City, City. Dunk City. Lob, City. Lob, City. Lob, City. Lob City, Lob City, something like that. And then he goes to USC, and then years later loses to them. I think that's that's tough. That's, yeah, that's that is tough. a tough look. And it didn't it wasn't a loss. Like they got blown out. Yeah, they lost by thirteen. I mean, that's Florida Gulf Coast. Like, that's a that's not a Florida, fluke. Florida Gulf Coast shot thirty seven and a half percent from the field, and they still won the game. That I mean, just blows my mind. That's not. I mean, good. who that's does like USC? Who does you see? Boogie Ellis is he on that? He's yeah, on- it's Boogie Ellis, and they have Drew Peterson still. So it's like still some two of the guys that they had last year when they were pretty decent. Boogie Ellis, one of the best names probably out there. First team All Conference, just based off the name. Hundred percent. You know Boogie I mean, Ellis is good. I mean, he was the only one. Of, he scored nineteen points. He was the only one in double figures. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean like USC. Whatever. I get like I, I wasn't that high on them to be honest, but we were talking about Florida State, bro. You just – all right, I have a take. I think that if you're if you're in Florida State or one of these teams that are losing to D2 or, like, really shitty teams, you should be relegated for the year. <laughs> you should have to switch with that team. If you lose to a D2 team, you should have to play in D2 for that year. I, I, it's just – it's the only way they should, should be able to move up to D1. Can we talk about – can we talk about how much money Florida State paid them just – to beat their ass, yeah. That's the fun, that's the fun of it at all and all of it. Fuck, you can't have Luke Brown from Stetson dropping twenty seven on you at Florida State. Like these games are supposed to, you know what? Like I, I will say, like Arkansas usually plays good mid majors, and you try and play a pretty good mid major so you get used to them. Maybe you play them in the tournament or whatever. You, you can't be losing to Stetson. You just can't. The problem with Florida State is they, they, they recruit a certain player, but usually like they're not the most skilled. And I think sometimes like it, that hurts them because they're just looking for a specific body type and, and usually like that specific player isn't the most skilled. So it's like it kind of hurts them sometimes when they don't have that kind of talent of just something you can give the ball to somebody and then get a bucket every time. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like they like to get people that are I feel like are six, seven, six, eight length defenders, athletic, raw. 
and you had Stetson put up 83 on them. Like, their strength should be defense, tenacity. Like, if Stetson won 65 to 62, I'd be like, all right, good game. Like, you know, we played defense, we just couldn't buy buckets. But the fact that Stetson was able to score so easily on Florida State is, like, really bad. Is, like, Leonard Hamilton, like, kind of getting a little bit on the hot seat? Like, No, no. I no. Love I love Coach Ham, no. I no. do, too. No, I really do, too. But, like – They've been kind of shitty. Two years. This is the, this would be the second year. They were like a they were a one seed. So what year was it? Twenty nineteen. They're like a basket away from being in the final four. Twenty twenty. They were a top four seed with Dayton. Not going to brag. Uh, and then COVID <laughs> happened. COVID. So, they, like, COVID. They made the Sweet Sixteen. No COVID. Co- like co- I'm saying, co- yeah. The year before COVID, they were a basket away from making the Elite Eight. The next year, they were the number four team in the country when COVID hit. So. And Just then that saying. COVID year, who they lose to in the tournament? Ooh. Oh, you're saying like when there was no fans? When they, yeah, uh, who they lose to? I'd have to look that up. I think that, that was – That year doesn't even count. Yeah, Michigan, right? That year doesn't even count for all sports. Dukes, I think that was yeah. the University of Michigan. Oh, he was he, – They lost – yeah, they lost – yeah, they did. He yeah, he was 100% right. Dukes is like, oh, <laughs> let, me, let me look, Hunter, real quick. <laughs> well, no, no, no. When he said the COVID – when he said the COVID year, COVID year to me – How much did I have that game, Dukes? What was my stat line? I'll, I'll pull it up right now. <laughs> yeah, you knew exactly what happened. Um, Damn, I'm going slow right now. Let's just say 20 and 10. Not far off. You are you. You only type with fucking one finger. It takes so long to look. Oh, uh, you don't know how to type? Me? Yeah. No, he's I'm a, awful. He's a bad typer. No, no. We gotta get in the lab. We gotta figure that out. All right, dudes, give me give me more uh, of the upsets. I think it was probably like thirteen and and fifteen. I think, Dukes. Yeah, um, I don't even know how I ended up, but I, this Maybe is so embarrassing. I ended up I ended up on the women's the women's Florida State Michigan <laughs> game, and I was just like, I'm giving up. Right. Um, okay, Oklahoma lost to Sam Houston State. That's Rose Brothers, what are we doing? Porter Moser. Porter Moser. That's bad. That's an elite coach, too. Like, that's not a coach you would think that will lose like five games. It's just, how are you, like, I mean, 52-51, like, you know, wait, the, Gro- you, the Gros brothers, that's Rico fucking loves those guys. Mm-hmm. I love them. They might have been in college for like eight years. I feel like yeah. they were there before Jordan. <laughs> yeah, but I get all the hate. It's actually fucking crazy. Jordan, it's not your fault. You're not the only one. Don't let them tell you that. I don't do you think mean? you're, like, you're not, to me, you're not like an Aaron Kraft or like a Perry Ellis. Bro, I was in the academic center today. Surprise, surprise, academic center, yeah. We had a wrestler that was here for eight years. Yeah, we Spencer Lee, he's been at Iowa for seven years. Because you can do – because he he got two Olympic red shirts. Yeah. And then he got the COVID red shirt, another red shirt, and like a medical red shirt. He was here for eight years. That's outrageous. He, he was 27 <laughs> wrestling, and he didn't even win. <laughs> You got <laughs> that's just love. That's just the love for the sport. At that my body is like broken now, and I'm a junior. <laughs> you can imagine, and the wrestlers, their kind, their regime is insane. Um, as two guys that have played, like one is playing, one's still playing, but in college, wow. these these first games, like how much do you actually put into it? How much is there? Are you blaming on the rust? Like, how much is this a, a concern for these people? This is this is like an upper class. Like I always said, this if you lose these fucking buy games, this is on, yeah, it's on the coach, but it's on the fucking upperclassmen in the team to step up and like, if it's a close game, like yo, this shit is not acceptable. Like we're losing to fucking Stetson. Like half the guys probably even know where the fuck Stetson was. I bet on the team. I don't. Right. I think it's in Florida. I heard somebody say it's in Florida, (laughs) but I had no idea before today. But. There's just no leadership at that point Shout to lose to a team like that. Because I've been there. I've we lost in Nebraska with my my freshman year. I've, I've I've been it. I've been in the locker room before. I've seen it. It is not a good feeling. Yeah, I'd say at the beginning of a season, you always like if you don't play well the first like two games, you always try to chalk it up as like, oh, it's the beginning of the season. You know, we're not really worried about it, and that's just kind of like what you say to the media, and then behind the scenes, you're kind of like, oh crap, like hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, Damn, we fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this isn't like a year long thing. Hopefully this is really bad. Or, you know, this like always is a fluke. Yeah, you always say to the media, like, you know, you know, it's 
we're not really worried about it right now. You know, something we'll fix. But like losing to, I mean, like you know, me knock on some wood here, you know, but it's not really the kind of look you're looking for to start the season off because you know when you start the season, you're like, man, we got a chance to win it all. I know everybody at Florida State was like, man, yo, we're gonna sneak up on some teams. We're gonna win some <laughs> They're like, yo, we're nice. <laughs> And then, like, just to come out and lose the sense, and I know the players have got to be sick right now, but it is early. It's as early as possible, and so time for time time for some improvement. No, that that's a – unless they have – that game right there is going to take away about two to three solid ones they have on the resume. I will so, say they didn't have – they're missing a, a freshman who, when we scrimmaged them, did look really good, like super, like – Six eight to six ten, like wing who looked pretty good. So I will say they're missing him, but I don't think he's worth however many points they lost to. Right? Yeah, but the, I mean that the net rankings and the resume shit, they don't take that yeah. effect. Like they see a loss to Stetson, like your resume is down the shitter after that loss. So I, I didn't want to say anything when you guys were talking about buy games, and I didn't want to be a homer with like the Dayton shit. No, no, but oh, no, no, but. There was a three-game skid that Dayton had last year, all by games. They lost to UMass, Lowell, Lipscomb, Austin Pei, for one and three to start the year. And everyone's like, all right, well, like the tournament's done. We're going to have to either like win out the conference or win the conference tournament. Ended up beating Kansas, getting good wins, and we were the first team out of the tournament last year. So, like, there, if you go on a run, like, it is possible to, like, overcome the boundaries. Like, if we just didn't have a shitty half in the semifinals of the A-10 tournament, we're in the to- uh, NCAA tournament. But, like... It's not over right away. People complain about me talking about Yo, number seven Duke. But <laughs> Dayton, okay, Yankees so, uh, Duke. Yeah, yeah. So, I root for I root for a mid a good mid major. It's not like a homer. Speaking of mid majors, can I can I talk about one game that I didn't even think was a real score? Bryant winning one forty seven to thirty nine. Okay, that's that... like when you talk about relegation. They should be able to strip some scholarships. No, that's not legal. That was D3. Yeah, that wasn't a D1. That was D1, 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 D3. That was a D1 on D3. They crime. played a D3? Yeah, yeah it was just like okay, a D3 team. Okay, 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 that, that makes sense. All right, sense. so yeah, Brian's yeah. – actually, like, Brian's a joke then. Like, what are you doing? Who's scheduling a D3? Yeah, team? okay, I, yeah, I got I to gotta talk to the Brian people. Why, why are we scrimmaging at D3? They scored you? 74 points and 70 – like. And I think that game counts. Like, I think they're one and out. Yeah. Yeah. It like, does. Like, that. how does that count? Gra- Gra- you know Grasso, the coach for Bryant, basically yeah. said like he, he basically said like I'll never take my foot off the pedal. If we're playing D three St. Thomas or Kentucky, <laughs> I will not stop scoring. I treat all no, games the same. Getting paid. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I take my take back. Him saying that, I <laughs> love. Like, why even buy <laughs> game? Why that. even play someone okay? Like, make sure you beat the living <laughs> piss out of them. You win. Oh, you gotta win God. by hundred and eight <laughs> points. That. I think we should. We had Grasso on last year. We should get Grasso back. I can on. get him on. I can get him on for sure. I would. I, I would love. The assistant. Love to hear him say, okay. "We just. I don't give a fuck. I'm scoring 147 on who they play. That'll Thomas be the first College? thing I ask him. Thomas College. What I, the fuck is Thomas? We we played on mice junior year and we almost fucking lost. They they slowed the game down. Like every time they got a rebound, they walk it up the court. And they wait till nine seconds at a high ball screen, and then they would go. The score was like fifty nine to sixty two. We won by like three points. It was <laughs> the most absurd. I know you guys hated that, Jordan. Bro, it was the most absurd game ever because we would like push the fucking ball, and then they would get the rebound if we missed, and they would slow the fuck down. I kind we, of we tried everything. You guys know who's on Bryant, right? Well coached. We had guys- we had a dude, uh, Casper Casper. I can't remember his name, but he was stupid athletic. And he jumped from the free throw line to start the game and almost threw it down on Tyler Cook. And I'm like, holy fuck, what is happening? Tyler Cook, I heard, had some of the craziest bounce. Yeah. He's got the biggest legs I've ever seen in my life. Like tree trunks. Can you dunk, Jordan? Why does this have to go to me dunking? How does that happen? <laughs> that was a genuine question. Like, how does that ha- – actually, how does that, how does that go from what we were talking about to that? Jordan, ask him if he can hit a three. You, in college game. Was, yeah. Dude, I saw his ass. It's shoot, shoot a basket. It's not good. It's not How fucking you, good. Well, we'll I saw. I saw. Years. He's worse. He's a worse blackjack player than fucking shooter, and that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. He lost well, to Jake Marsh in a three-point contest. Yeah, I Marty. Mean, no, I didn't. Marty. Yes, you did. I saw it. I, I had feeling. Marty. 
Yes. You lost to Jake Marsh. Bro, you're going to see me shoot. I'm going to shoot something on Friday. On Friday, I'm going to shoot because I don't know. Uh, Jordan was at, on the fucking interview, Hunter. This fucking coach of Toledo, coach fucking Todd, because I don't know how to say his last TK. name. Coach TK. TK. He said I can shoot 84 threes in four years. The coach of the team, he's a shooting coach. He believes in me. I think I'll be should. honest. If you're if you're shooting eighty four threes a game, that team is fucking awful. <laughs> um, Marty, Marty, what? I want to. We're in a season. Eighty four threes in a season. That's bad. Fucking no, game. not a season. I thought it's that was a, that, no. It's four years. All right, even that. If you're getting off four eighty four threes on the team, that team is. Yeah, should they're, be they're bad. You might as well play for Thomas. I would fucking I would do great on Thomas. See, I see no, like you wouldn't even be able to play on Thomas. I could play on a D three. No, basketball. no. I think no, you could. No. I, I know I could. I went to a D three school. I I hit three sixty in college baseball. I'm my best stats ever. I could have won pro. A totally different did. fucking sport. Yeah, I'm saying like I I was. Yeah, better. Jordan, you hit two hundred threes. You could probably play D one football if you wanted. Like, to. what the fuck does that have to do with basketball? I don't you know hit three sixty in baseball. I just had to bring up that I hit three sixty in my career. <laughs> I had to bring up. That's actually that is kind of impressive though, Marty. It is. It was three thirty three, but not three. Uh, it wasn't three. Uh, I had three sixty one season. It was three thirty three. I had to make sure because you can look it up. Yeah, I there's no way. Up. Let's go look up my stats. Mount St. Mary College. Matt you went to Mount St. Mary's? Uh, D3 in Newburgh, New York, the Murray Capital. Yeah, not, oh, not the oh. Maryland one. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Maryland one. I was about to say. No, I, I, if anyone asks, I what tell them that. Uh, I went Fuck. to Duke. <laughs> then, then you went to Duke? Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I literally actually tried taking a class, an online class for Duke just to say I went there so people could stop yelling at me for liking Duke. See, but I have a question for you guys. Dude, can worse? you put that on real quick? Jordan, oh, what do you think is worse? Put what? A Florida State losing to Stenson and a USC losing to Florida Gulf Coast or like a Cleveland State losing to a T2? <laughs> That's the jackal. That's a professional team right there. Dude, you look like the inflatable uh, wow. new arm, dude. Oh. Hey, bring up my stats, bro. Bring up my stats. They don't have them. They don't have your stats. That's the jackals, you moron. No, he does. He does. I've seen his stats. They're pretty nice. Oh. <laughs> Jordan, anyone, what's worse? If anyone's realized what we're laughing at, look, watch the YouTube. They just showed my picture from playing on the New Jersey Jackals, a professional baseball team, people forget. But it's okay. Jordan, what would be worse? The USC losing to Florida Gulf Coast or like a, a lower mid-major or a lower D1 team losing to a D2 team? I I, uh, I think it's those USC's and Florida State because I think that they have at least like the – obviously you guys know more, but I just think that they have obviously the opportunities to get these high players. They should never – if you're recruiting at a high level, you should never lose to those lower-level teams ever. Yeah. Yeah, there's a way bigger gap between a exactly. low major and high major compared to the other scenario. Like, there's way more resources involved with the high major schools. Like, some reason. guys do you agree. Like, some guys that are, that are playing D two, or like could have went to a low, like yes. a, a D one school, like really low major, but like they wouldn't have got that much playing time. So they I agree with that. Yes, the, the, like, the gap from D two to low Division one is way smaller than. Mm-hmm. High major to really yeah. If you're high. USC, Florida State, you're you have the access of getting these fucking guys. I don't care. I know it's, it's it's. I know it's a basketball game. Anyone could win. Like that's why March Madness is the best. But the first game and those get, like that should never happen. Florida State's got like four four, four or five stars. Yeah, that's disgusting. On the right. That's ratings bad. don't mean ratings don't mean shit. Well, I'm saying yeah. like they're getting that. They mean that. some. They Florida State guys. guys. Stetson doesn't have one four-star ever, I don't think, probably. I, I don't know. I, I hate the whole rating system. It's You're just right. So I, I do agree with no. that. The rating system is I, bad. I agree, too. Like, I, I think that it doesn't really show exactly. There's a lot of five-stars that fucking end up sucking. 
it, well, it's, it's just, there's so many five stars that just don't know how to play basketball. They have no basketball IQ. They can dribble the shit out of the ball. They can't shoot. They can jump out of the gym, but they have no basketball awareness at all. A lot of ratings are potential. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted um, to – Marty, really yeah. quick, do you guys know who plays on Bryant now? Edder. Yeah. yeah. What do you think his stat line was last night in, in, not, in 20 minutes? He probably, he probably shot the ball 20 Six times. Six points? He had 19 points, four steals, five assists, two rebounds, and he was five of ten from deep. That's, wow. that's, 10 that's threes. not bad. Ten threes in 19 minutes, Jesus 50%. Yeah. That's not bad at all. That's actually very efficient. Um, I wanted to bring up, too, uh, Keontae Johnson. He made his debut on Kansas, uh, Kansas State, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Kansas State, which is fucking awesome from what we saw. Like, obviously, when we saw that, I was like, I don't think he's ever going to play basketball again. Like, I hope he's just all right. Seeing him play last night was fucking cool. I think he had, like, 13 points around there or whatever, too. So, I mean, he was a great player for Florida. Like, great player. Um, But just cool to see him play, um, playing again. But, yeah, for the most part, Monday, do you guys think that there should be – Actually, it's a good question for both of you. Do you would you rather the, that warm up game that you just had end kind of Friday, or would you rather these like play of a, a fucking good team like a Kansas or a another high major team for the first one? Obviously, for TV, it's good to be on TV, all that stuff. But would you rather get that little warm up game and then get into it? Like you guys play Virginia next week, right? Us? Or two weeks, two weeks. Of, yeah, I think, uh, Virginia is like end of the month. Yeah. So regardless, it's like you play. That's like kind of the bet you play pit, I think, or something. But would you rather play? Obviously, you'd rather play a shittier team because you know you're going to win. But do you think? Because as fans, uh, yesterday kind of sucked for college. It was good for like the, the 130 games there, but there was no marquee matchups at all. Yeah. But you guys don't give a shit about that. I right? mean, I, I I surely respect the coaches that do schedule those games like early on in the season because you literally have no idea like what your team is going to do like your team could ask like go out there and get destroyed on national television like those games where it's like duke first um it's always that's like, what duke. i was gonna ask what dukes isn't it wasn't it usually it's always duke uh kentucky election Michigan day state what election day is why that hasn't happened this year it's like tonight would have been the night of the Champions Classic where it's Duke, Kansas, UNC. Yeah. So, yeah, there it's next week now because of election night tonight. I mean, election. I agree. Night, we should we should really. That, that was the game where Duke, where I think Zion went off and then won 118 to 72 against Kentucky. And everyone was like, okay, so this team's just not losing the, the rest of the year. Yeah, that was an insane, insane game. It was a crazy game. I thought Kentucky was going to win that game. I didn't think Duke was going to be that good. They proved me wrong. Yeah, it's they sad. proved you wrong. They lost in like what the Sweet Sixteen or Elite Eight? Where'd you lose? Elite. 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 Yeah, yeah. They almost lost. I actually almost <laughs> ended up. I almost had to get a. Uh, I almost had, actually ended up getting a taco tattooed on my ass because of Taco Fall, and they almost lost to UC, was UCF. They UCF and then Virginia Tech. Lost to UCF. They should have lost to UCF yeah, and should've, Virginia should've, Tech. Should have, could have, would have. They won. It's okay. Um. But yeah, I I think I I just think for fans it kind of sucked, but I don't really it. What do you what do you do? You really want to play fucking Kansas the first game? You'd rather you get your points, get get going, get the team a little uh, accommodated together. But uh, was there anything else we wanted to talk about before? Yeah, fucking great. IUPUI, how bad they are! Can we they scored thirty nine points. I almost have more turnovers than total points. <laughs> That's impressive. They had what is it, twenty nine turnovers and thirty nine points. How does that even happen? I honestly, I kind of love watching the really shitty teams. I love it. So Just what was it, dude? Them. Chicago State was two Chicago, years ago. Chicago, Chicago State's, State's really bad. So bad. Didn't they stop mid season? Their coach quit. So the coach yes. quit the day before the season. But they stopped the season because they were just losing so much. It was. Yes, that that was a team that was an auto fade in the beginning of the year. Mississippi Valley State is they're bad. bad. Is bad. Um, 
I, I just I would love to go through the mind of like somebody who doesn't play on that team and be like, yo, <laughs> what are you like, thinking? You, you <laughs> can't get minutes on those teams. I would love to go through the mind of one of them and be like, yo, what what are we thinking right now? I think but they yeah, had that IUPUI. I, 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 I mean, that were the team last year that was running tryouts in the middle yeah. of the season. Part of me yeah. would be like, I wouldn't really want to get in there either because it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to go play in that. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's this guy on Chicago State right now. He, he was. Uh, do you guys know the name Elijah Weaver by any chance? No. So he was like a pretty highly re- – t- uh, Marty's going to fucking kill me, but he went from USC – to Dayton, and that was at Chicago State. And I was like, just the downfall that you went. There's going to be something well, with Dayton every time you bro, say no, it's but, like, No, but I, we brought up Chicago State. We bro, brought you think up he's Chicago saying State. a different point? And then at some point, this guy had – like, his mom went to fucking Dayton or something. We're going to be so talking about Zion and Duke again. He's like, you know Zion's well, dad, dad, brother's that. cousin's uncle <laughs> he went was, to Dayton, played was, there. Do not do not think that's insane. Imagine you start off your career like USC. I think is like a power five program. The fact that you went to Chicago State after three years is insanity. It's like the Sam Sessoms thing. Like, how do you go from starting at Penn State to all of a sudden playing nine o'clock TV on for Coppin State? I mean, I he's got a point. He's got a point. That's a good, good point, Dayton boy. <laughs> I'll stick to my stats. A lot of it's fit. A lot of it's fit. Like. You could be the best, like not the best player, but you could be a really good player coming out of high school, and you go to the wrong fit, man. That's why I'm. All, that's why people get mad about the transfer and like the one-time transfer rule. I. That's why I love it because, bro, you 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 got to think about it. An 18 year old kid is making a decision that's going to impact the rest of his life, and you expect him to get it right, like when all the schools are essentially the same. Like when you really think about it, if you're a highly recruited player. Every school has everything. And it's just basically like, which one do you see yourself at? Bro, think about like a regular student. They have no, they don't even have, they just got to go to class. They don't even know how, what to pick. I, when I went to school, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Like at 18 years old, like people are like, oh, how do you transfer? It's like, you don't know how it's going to go. You how do you do your own laundry at 18. Yeah, no, you have no idea. You just learn it. You learn how to do it. You probably still don't do it. He doesn't. He yeah, definitely doesn't. Right. Yeah, I just caught him right there. Hunter's too big to be doing laundry. I don't know. Imagine just... Hunter like, oh, like I did it last year. Know. I did. I did my laundry last year. What? I did it last year. Dude, I would love to go to one of your classes with you. Oh, <laughs> really we should do that this spring. We should make a trip out and just follow him around. You could. You. you... Can I come to one of your classes? Yes. Okay. That'd Jordan, when when we we'll, we'll try and do like a live show there, and we'll just follow him around. We'll just follow him around. We'll, we'll yeah. do a video like a, a day in the life of Hunter Dickinson, and just like we'll sleep on his floor too. We won't get a hotel. We'll sleep on his floor. You guys should all take the same test. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I couldn't even. We should start doing like if someone has a take that they really believe in, like we should like if if someone wants to challenge them on it. Loser has to do like a fifth grade test on the podcast because fifth grade math is hard as shit, bro. <laughs> it's, not. it's like twenty divided by four. Okay, What's well, twenty divided idiot. by four. So Hunter, you are going to be doing a fifth grade test at soon. Okay, or our YouTube, we will be putting oh, Hunter book it. Do a, fifth grade, man. a fifth grade math test. It, fifth grade math test is way harder than you think. Are you taking math right now? What's your major, Honor? He doesn't even probably have. One. I am. Uh... Yep, not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you? So you're not a human being. You're really not. <laughs> I'm in the College of LSNA, Language and Arts. Oh my god! I like pottery. That's and... that's smart for general studies. That's yeah. That's <laughs> literally just like everything. You don't know. He plays basketball. <laughs> no, we're not right. like UNC. Okay, I got to take some real classes here. Minimal. Yeah, you do. I'm in no, the business. I'm in a business no, school no, class. I got no, no. I'm bro, Michigan. You got to take like no, they're easy classes. You still no, like, no, that's actually true. Isn't that true? Because a lot of people can't go there because of the grades. Like it's yes, kind of why a lot yep, of the recruits. Yeah. 
Isn't that probably why Terrence Shannon Jr. didn't go there? That that was because of like credits and and stuff like that. We have certain amount of credits, but but still, yeah. you got stupid shit like that. We have it's academic like standards. We can't recruit everybody. Yes, you're right, Marty. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got it. You're so goddamn smart. My career GP at the math was like three nine. Yeah, that's like a hold your no, hands. No, 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 no. DeMatha was a hard academic school. I'm actually pretty smart. A little lazy, but I'm pretty smart. <laughs> I don't believe yeah. really, Ask any teacher in high school. All right. What's, well, I guess we'll interview one of your high school teachers. Yeah, should we have one on. of your teachers come on? My Yeah. We could. <laughs> All right, well, so now we have Hunter uh, taking a fifth grade cl- uh, math test soon. Um, but, yeah, that's the episode for now. We're going to interview uh, after this. Stay on. We're going to interview Jelly Walker, who is playing in the Barstool Invitational, who just – didn't he drop, like, 30-something points on Monday? Yeah, 38. 38. Like, he doesn't – he finds any spot on the court. He just tries to shoot it at I love Jelly Walker. It's a great nickname. Um, but we're going to interview him. Um, you guys got anything closing to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just excited for the rest. You know, I'm excited for these big matchups coming up. I, how, Jordan, how, how many times do you think we should have to at least have Hunter say round ball in an interview? Well, I don't just don't think he can do it at the end of the day. I don't, I don't think I, if you don't say my name at least one time, like you'll see, like I, I dedicate this game to Marty Mush. Like if I don't get one of those, I don't know what we're doing here. I I could I could throw it in there. <laughs> All right. just, it's got to be like it's got to be the right fit. It doesn't have to be the right. when you're in like the. I've been in those press conferences after the games, do with the local reporters. You can say whatever the fuck you want. No, say. no, no. Yeah, you're right. asking, sometimes I'll just say something like, "Dude, I'm not." You, you don't have to answer ones. the question. Like honestly, I'll. I would. I would say like something completely opposite of what okay, they asked. Jordan, I'm not asking for those ones. I'm asking for on the court ESPN. I know, but we have to. We have to start small though. With no, 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 baby no, 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 steps. No. Next time on the court interview, round ball will be mentioned, Marty. Listen, watch. You're gonna be watching the next game. Wait till after the game. If I'm on there, I will mention round ball. It'll be something. Don't do. I. I don't do Friday because I'm gonna be at the Invitational. I. I have to see it. Take Friday off. Worry about the game. I'm. 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 I'm big. Worry about the game. Just because I can't see it. I don't want to see it. Somebody. Whoever. If. If anybody's watching this on YouTube or anywhere, clip it. Clip it. Send it to Marty. All right. We'll shout you out on the show like we did the man with the graphics. All right. We'll, we'll see. Jordan, what do you think? I, I just don't believe it. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Jordan, so, Georgia Southern didn't cover, if you guys are wondering. Sorry to change the topic. All Sports right. Fucking well, team. They're worse than IUPUI. I, I'm done. I'm fading them all year long. <laughs> um, well, that's, the, that's the show. Stay tuned for uh Jelly Walker interview. Again, remember – Friday, November 11th in Philly, Barcel Invitational. Be there. Get some tickets. I'll be announcing the uh, Yak basketball at halftime, so that'll be electric. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I also – Jeff Nadeau's is going to din- – he actually – the coach invited him to dinner. Like, I think he was being nice. He's legitimately going to Toledo's dinner on Thursday night. That is that a good idea? What the hell? No. Mm-mm. He's going to ruin our name. <laughs> he's going he's to be talking crazy shit. <laughs> he's going to be like, I should I should be the host of that. <laughs> I'm worried because he threw that invite out like so like nonchalantly. And but that's Nadu. why Nadu, that's why Nadu is the best. It's just he he's he heard mafia and he's like, I'm going. Oh yeah. Could you imagine being on the team and he's like, "Who is this guy? <laughs> Who is this thirty-five-year-old?" They probably wish? thought it was like, "Oh, man, it, must be, it must be so nice." Like, we got to make a wish, kid. Wow, well, that's a Toledo fan. <laughs> that's fucking to do for you, though. Um, all right, that's the episode. Here comes the interview with Jelly Walker. All right, welcome to our interview 
with the one and only Jelly Walker from UAB. How you doing, my dude? What's up, my guy? <laughs> I, I interviewed you last year after uh, your whole year after winning the conference. It was a crazy time, probably in your life. I want to get straight to the point. Obviously, you're a great basketball player. You have, you've always known that. You believed in yourself. But last year, you kind of took, like, I when you when you came back to your phone and saw all of Barstool tweeting jelly this, jelly that. I tweeted Jelly Walker should be the number one pick in the draft. Were you like, this is fucking awesome? Like, you, because you kind of took off on social media after that too, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I was always known when it came to social media because I'm part of Jelly Fam. But um, yeah. when I seen the Barstool stuff, I'm going to be honest, bro. I, I didn't even know what Barstool was. <laughs> but one of my teammates, his name Ryan Donahue, he was like, what, bro? Like, And he started showing me who you guys were. And like how known you guys were, I'm like, oh, no, nah, that's tough. Like, that's super <laughs> tough. So then when I went back to the tweets and I was seeing you guys tweet about me, I'm like, oh, like, I, this is big time. Like, this is, <laughs> you know, so, but it, 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 I didn't really know what Barstool was at first. But then after he told me, so I'm like, oh, like, yeah, this is tough. Like, so I'm, you didn't know what Barstool was. You have these people tweet, like, Big Cat has millions of followers. He's yeah. Tweeting about saying. you. And then all of a sudden, you're fucking playing in the Barstool Invitational now on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about playing in that? I mean, I'm excited. I mean, I love what you guys did for me, and I rock with y'all now. So, um, I mean, I'm super excited. Boys? I mean, Jordan, just go out and say it. Nobody on Toledo is stopping you from getting 30, right? Uh, I don't, I don't like speaking like that, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I'll say it for you. Nobody, nobody on Toledo. <laughs> he knows just, it in his head. I'm just going to hoop. You know what I'm saying? Just, just try to get the win, bro. Whatever happens, happens. Hey, Have you guys started your, I'm assuming you guys started your two-day prep already? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You got them all well down then, Scout? Um, uh, Yeah. I mean, they, they, they run a lot of plays, though. They have, like, plays on top of plays on top of plays. So, like, that's the type of school, like, you can't really try to scout their plays. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can do a couple sets, but you got to more so know personnel type stuff. You know, there's, there's certain schools where they run the same thing all the time. Like, you can scout their plays. But, like, certain schools when you have so many, it's just, like, you got to basically know which player does what and just, you know what I'm saying, just communicate out of it. So, um, we interviewed the Toledo coach. And he yeah. was like, "We they just love shooting the ball. That's yeah. basically they just love shooters and all. But it's like, I mean, you they also are playing Jelly Walker, who shoots. You you could shoot anywhere. You don't give a fuck. You just like I'm <laughs> shooting anywhere. <laughs> it's like, all right, this is this seems like a good spot. And then you just drop thirty eight on Monday night. So yeah. you're you started up real quick. Yeah, you, I mean, I, mean, uh, I just." Bro, I put a lot of work in, bro, and I, I really work out a lot. So I just feel like if, if you're not in front of me, I can make it. <laughs> That's, wow. Put that on a quote card. If you're not in front of me, I'm going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just really how I feel. I mean, when you work on your game enough, it's like, I mean, you get you get confidence in it because you see it go through the net so many times. So it's like even if it's a game or just working out, it, it's no difference. You know what I'm saying? It's shooting the ball in the hoop. I got a question. What's uh, I played against your boy Isaiah Washington. What's he up to now? Uh, he overseas right now. He, he hooping for real, for real. That's that's yeah. my boy. He making that bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He good. He good. Yeah. He's actually you guys coming. All... He's actually coming to the game. I didn't. Even, uh, he's actually coming to the game on Friday. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. I'll be he's... there. I'm yeah. uh. I'll, I'll be there. So I actually, since I'm gonna be there, can I get like uh, maybe maybe after a three, you can give me a fucking little this or something. I got you. I got you. You gonna right. be on the sideline? I'll, I'll I'll be on the yeah. I'm gonna be on the sideline. I gotta do something for the halftime show. We yeah. have a bunch of morons that will be playing a basketball <laughs> game, but they don't. Their basketball game doesn't have any rules, and there's no dribbling. Yeah. You have, there's no dribbling at all. You just run with the ball. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll be I announcing know. that, but I'll be on the sidelines. So I'll I'll get you before, but maybe a little uh, maybe a little celebration for Marty. I got you. Right. I got you. I'm gonna make sure I come up to you. I got you. All right, perfect. Um, but yeah. So what? First of all, I gotta I gotta I'm gonna be honest. I was talking to them before you came on. I was like, 
I, I am so lost on the jelly fam. <laughs> <laughs> I was such I sounded like such an idiot. I was like, yeah. exactly, tell me exactly what the jelly. So how does the jelly fam come about? And like, well, what- jelly fam was started by Isaiah Washington and Jacque James. Uh, they started it, and then they put a lot of us down, you know. Um, but jelly fam basically like a jelly layup. Like you know, people be like, it's like a finger roll, you know what I'm saying? But with your own touch to it. And, like, everyone used to call it a finger roll, but now, like, everyone just calls it a jelly. So whenever, like, you spin the ball off the rim, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, off the backboard and it goes in, it's a jelly. All right. So before the game, I'm going to I'm gonna show – I'm going to have to do a jelly roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jelly roll. It's not a jelly roll, bro. Just call it <laughs> jelly, bro. Just call it jelly. <laughs> Dude, okay. we're, te- we're, we're trying to teach him. He's getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I, I got you, bro. I got you. I'll show you. Yeah, I mean, you might have to teach me the jelly then. Yeah, hey, don't call it no jelly roll, though, bro. <laughs> how did how did like growing up in New York with Isaiah Washington and the other members of the Jelly Fam kind of like I guess mold your game in a way? Like, how did that affect your game growing up? I mean, playing in New York, bro. I mean. You got to be a dog. I'm saying there's so many good guards, like, out of New York. And, like, that's what I would say, like, New York breeds. Like, you don't really see a lot of New York bigs and stuff like that. Like, they just breed a bunch of guards, and a lot of them are a little just like me. So just being in New York and just knowing you got to be a dog, it just it just gives you, like, a different mentality where, like, no matter who's in front of you, like, you just kill whoever. I'm you got to be a man. hack to come out of New York. Is yeah, saying. yeah. I don't you got to be a hack. I mean, I yeah. mean I'm, y'all be I'm, hacking, y'all be hacking. Yeah, for sure. Bro. I'm not about to let you just score on me every time. I mean, in the game, I'm gonna adjust, obviously. But like, if we playing one on one, yeah, for sure, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, no if ands, or buts. Yeah, no, I respect that. Uh, Quinterly from Alabama is part of is. is yeah, yeah, he's from right? Jersey though. But yeah, absolutely. But he played in New York too when we were younger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And JQ been playing in New York in, in Jersey, but. Yeah, that's what I'm. I t- I try to tell them, Jelly. I- I'm from New York. And I'm. I would just fucking. I would beat the shit out of them on the on the court. I got. I got one move they can't even. You wouldn't even see coming, and they'd break their ankles, and they would never play basketball. Again. What's the move? What's the move? Yeah, yeah what's the move? It's bro? a little. Uh, want me to show you? I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. please, yeah, yeah. please show this. Yeah, no, yeah. one sec. You got so a ball? Like, you got a ball? No, I don't have a ball. <laughs> this guy's barely got a move. So yeah, I gotta well, make sure I stretch for a second. D- don't mind the hole in the wall either. <laughs> so I'm, I swear to God, this move gets everybody, every single person. Yeah, I'll, I'll come up a little bit, dribbling like this, looking around like I don't know what I do. It's a fake like this, fake 360. Go back the same oh, way. Hell no. Nah. Every they- time. Oh yeah, that that's the move. <laughs> yeah. Hey bro, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That's horrible, bro. <laughs> That's atrocious, bro. You, you, you know, you're seeing me on Friday. I'm gonna show you the move. I'll get Dukes. He'll be there, and I'm gonna show you the move. You might not be able to play the game. Your ankle might break. <laughs> Bro, I'm not guarding you, bro. You got to shoot it first. I don't care about all that dribbling stuff. Hey, Marty, technically it is like the Barstool tournament, so you can hop in the warm-ups if you want. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, oh, this is my event. No, nah, you're actually reffing Jelly, he's reffing your game. You oh, that's even, that's even better for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great for you. It's like no bad. Uh, the, the fact that Barstool is, is like – like this is a big game. Like, actually, like, serious. I know we're fucking around, but UAB Toledo, like, would say, like, this, like, Toledo, you, I would say you guys are probably one of the best mid majors this year. Yeah, yeah. And then Toledo, this is, he was talking about this is one of their biggest games all year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. And it's kind of crazy where it's like your second game. See how you guys are really, like, I was going to say gelling, and I didn't want to be like the jelly thing, you know? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying, though, but, I mean, yeah, it's a huge game. I mean, they're they're really talented. They had a – the kid last year, I think he went to the draft. I mean, he's on the Warriors now. Yeah. But, like, they're – like, overall, like, it wasn't just him. Like, they're they're a really good team, you know. But, 
I feel like we're gonna be ready for them. But I, it's it is a good test for both schools, like early in the year to see like how good we are. You know, how has it been at UAB though? Like, cause you were you were at Seton Hall at one point, right? Yeah. And then you were at Tulane. Tulane. Yeah. Yeah. So how is how has it been compared to like? Cause obviously transferring twice, and you obviously are a very very well known name now at UAB. Yeah. So how's that journey been? Um. I mean, it's been a, a roller coaster. You know, you go from Seton Hall to where, like, you went to school in New Jersey, you won the tournament of champions in New Jersey, finished all state, and then you just don't play at all as yeah. a freshman to tearing every ligament in your in your shooting hand, thumb. You know what I'm saying? And can't really play. Then you transfer to Tulane. I have to sit out because like the, the transfer portal like wasn't. It yeah. was actually frowned upon back then. It was now stupid everyone, back then. Now everyone does it now, but but yeah, like to having to sit out a whole year where I can't travel with the team, like can't play, it was horrible, bro. And then having my coach get fired that I transfer for, and then I get a whole different coach who doesn't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Never recruited me, doesn't even know my name. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And to like having to prove to him that I'm good enough to be there because I don't want to try to leave again because – I felt like if I left again, I'd probably have to sit out another year. And if I had to do that, I'm going to be honest, Bass would have – I don't know what I would have done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sitting out two years in a row. Yeah. Um, but having to prove to him that I can play and then me and him not really meshing for real and then coming to UAB to where it's just like me and AK, it just fits perfectly. It's just it's, – it's he's, he's a perfect coach for Joe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he's crazy and all and like – but, like, he means well, and he's the first coach I had who's, like, outside of my high school coach, uh, like, he's the first coach I had in college where, like, like, he's crazy, but I know, like, he just wants the best for me, you know? A lot of people can't handle, like, a coach who, who who's nuts, you know what I'm saying? But, like, because they think he's talking down to them, but at the end of the day, he just wants the best out of you. So, so Marty, been... I... go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I was just going to add real quick. So, Marty, everything that he's talking about, everything, all the experiences that he went through with the NCA. I know Hunter won't say that. Jelly won't say this because you guys are in the NCA. I'll say it because I even said it when I was in the NCA. Fuck the NCA because they do not <laughs> allow shit like this to happen. They will do everything they can to restrain that shit. And that's, yeah. that's pathetic. It's, it's pathetic. No, that it is. Never like, happen. And it is kind of fucked up to think about. Like, we were talking about it yesterday during the episode where – like, think about a normal kid going to school when they transfer. It's like, you don't know how your first school is going to work out ever. Like, yeah. And, tra- and you're like, transferring to a school, like he just said, like, to a school you want to play for that coach. And then he gets fired. Like, you then that have kid. Every like, what about opportunity. Bro, it was horrible because it was like, I don't really talk about this much, but, like, I didn't know what to do. It was yeah. like, I came no here. No telling for, you anything either. Yeah, I came here for a coach who I knew – like, believed in me, like, same way a- AK believed in me, probably, like, like, that much, you know what I'm saying, where I'm playing for a coach who doesn't even know my name, and then he don't even want to call me Jelly, like, he's like, bro, don't call him Jelly, like, that Jelly stuff, uh, you say that all the time, like, bro, don't call him Jelly, like, that Jelly stuff, I don't like Jelly, uh, all that stuff, <laughs> having a coach who, like, embraces it you know what i'm saying so it was hard bro it was i'm two years at tulane it was hard but like i i'm thankful for it because it made me be able to play like no matter who you playing for no matter yeah. what the coach is like you got a hoop you know and man at the end of the day like you can a lot of people would like blame coaches and be like oh it was the coach it was the coach but at the end of the day like you in between them lines you know what i'm saying and you if you put the ball in the basket ain't nobody gonna say nothing to you Fucking Jelly Walker's giving me the chills at 11 o'clock at night right now. Like, I'm ready to fucking go on the court. Like I feel like I, I feel like I could get some shots up right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, did you – so at the end of – I could be completely wrong, but at the end of the last year, did you think about going pro? Yeah, absolutely. So how was that process? I mean, it didn't go as planned, you know, because I think, I think a lot of people – believed I was coming back so it was like let's not even a lot of especially like a lot of agents and stuff they didn't even want to waste their time because you know the the pre-draft and stuff like 
Like, they're not just going to let you, you know what I'm saying, just yep. come work out with all these guys who are trying to really make yep. a roster and stuff. And it's like, all right, this kid's going back to school anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it didn't go as planned. But I, I definitely uh, learned a lot, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm just grateful for the experience, though. Hunter, you don't have to say, but is that kind of the same thing with you? Yeah, I mean, my, like he said, um, like, train, like, agents – they're trying to focus on the guys who are going to make them money, obviously. Like, exactly, exactly. Like, that's the whole business of the game. Like They, they don't, don't want money. someone, like, teetering, you're saying? Yeah, like, they want somebody who's all the way in. They want to focus their attention on him to try to get his draft stock as high as possible so then they make the most money. Exactly. So it's, it's like, fun. especially, but for him, it's different. Like, Hunter, like, his opportunity to get to the league is way, like, greater than mine, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, like, as for me being a little guard, it's like they don't want, they not going for that in and out stuff. It's like, bro, if you win, like, you win. And then we're going to try to make something happen. If you're not, like, I'm not even about to waste my time. You know what I'm trying to say? No, yeah, yeah, It's a frustrating process, too. Yeah, it's absolutely. Like, absolutely. It's, and it's, it's, it is, I mean, I'm happy you're back in college basketball, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, I love watching you play, and I'm glad you're in the Barcelona Invitation. I'm, I can't wait to see you play in person. It's funny. It's just funny. The first, the whole full circle thing is yeah, unbelievable. No. Yeah, absolutely. And, I can't fucking wait for Friday. I can't wait to show you how athletic I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys got anything else for Jelly? Nah, man. I, I got mean, one. I'm, I'm, I got one. Just, okay, yeah. So, so Jordan, um, after averaging 20 last year, what are you trying to – like, what did you work on in the offseason to try to showcase this year? Like, what would you add to your game, you'd say? Um, I feel like uh, trying to show teams that, like, well, not teams, just, like, the country that, like, yeah, I can score the ball, but I feel like I, I, my playmaking ability is, is better. Um, I feel like me finishing at the rim is better. Um, getting to the free throw line more. Because last year, I, majority of my shots were just jump shots, you know, and, and like, when people are going to start playing me close now to where they're not going to try to let me shoot. So having that, being able to get to that rim and then, people converging on me because they don't want me to score. They rather let anybody else score. So being able to play make as well with that, I feel like th those are the two things uh, I tried to show. I tried to improve on the most and defensively trying to be like a pest because watching like players like Jose Alvarado and the NBA and stuff like that, like when you little, you, you have to be able to show them that like you won't be a liability on defense, you know? So th those are the three things I definitely worked on the most and I'm trying to showcase the most this year. Because scoring, that's going to that's gonna come. I, I do that. Like, that's yeah. just what I do. Actually, but, too, we do a podcast at Barcelona with uh, Pat, uh, Pat Beverly. And, like, he's yeah. that guy in the NBA who's, like, he, he's he's the most annoying guy on the court exactly. on defense. Like, that's – but if he's on your team, you love that shit, you know? Exactly. And it's the reason, like, he's still in the NBA. Like, he may not yeah. – it, it, it's games where he goes and shoots, like, three shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like – he truly, like, understands his role and he understands, like, bro, like, in order for me to make $10 million, $20 million, I'm going to play defense. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and there's people who, who aren't in the NBA who look at him and be like, man, I'm better than whatever. But at the end of the day, like, he plays his role to a T. You know what I'm saying? And he was sick on any team in the NBA. You look at his stat, you look at his box score, you're like, this guy fucking sucks. Yeah, but, like, no, he, seriously, though. Seriously. It, it's true. And, like, you watch him on defense, it's like, oh, my God, this guy is the most – he's not scared of anybody. Exactly. He's also the funniest guy. He's <laughs> so fucking funny. He doesn't give a shit. No, nah, And he's, he's in everyone's faces. But that's – and the second part of the question is, like, that's what I kind of want to ask you, too. Like, obviously, last year you became, a like, a sensation almost at one yeah. And now when these people are doing their prep for the game, targets on Jelly Walker's back. Oh, yeah. So is that what you're saying? Like you need to make your game even better? Like you're going to get your shots. You're going to shoot. Absolutely. Right yeah. Now. But that's exactly what I'm saying because it's like it's like last year coming in, like non-conference, it was like, all right, like this kid's good. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Non-conference, sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, this kid's good, whatever, whatever. But then you get the conference play, it's like, all right, like, like, he's the go-to, you know what I'm saying? But then after you get a whole year of seeing me do that, it's like, all right, like, we can't let him beat us. You know what I'm saying? And and that's how teams are going to be every game. Like, I'm going to be the person where, like, we have to stop him, you know? And, and, and it's it's 
it makes it harder, but my coaches do a great job of prepping me on how to attack certain teams, like how they're going to play me, you know what I'm saying, how how to get my shots, like how to how, – how am I going to have a good game, you know what I'm saying, versus this type of team. So, I mean, I don't really worry about it as much because I think my coaches do a great job of, like, prepping. Kind of a little – like, obviously, you're a center. It's a little different for you, Hunter, but it's kind of – it's the same thing. Everyone knows they're playing Hunter Dickinson. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit easier for Jordan because he's the guard, so he's able to bring the ball up and kind of shoot. Nah, bro, I think it's easier. Bro, for shut you, the bro. fuck up. Bro, yeah, as bro, a guard, you get to bring the ball up. Bro, I, have to, I, no. I have to rely on you. You guys, guys. sit your ass in the All right, but think about move. this, though, bro. I, I'm getting boxed in one. I'm getting denied the whole length of the floor. They can't deny you. If they deny you, people are getting layups. They can't. Yeah. People double team and triple team me. Ask records how many people. Yeah, but, that, but that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that. Like, I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like for a big, it's it's easier because it's just like you have to depend on the guard. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you don't stop this guard, like, you're going to lose. You get what I'm saying? So it's like they're going to focus on the guard way more than they focus on the big. Like, yeah, when I, you touch the ball, they're going to focus on you. But at the end of the day, I'm bringing the ball up. It's like I'm getting constant pressure every time I touch the ball. This is why I started the podcast. So a big man and a guard can argue. This is <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> but I, I it's, you could see both sides though. It's like big men. You have you have to deal with three hundred pound men like Zach Eady and fucking bastards. Yeah, like yeah, bro, like, yeah that's, that's something. Cr- I, I don't got to deal with. No, no, yeah, you don't have to. I box now, Zach Eady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, but, I, but, I'm but, be honest, you, bro. I'm not. My big fella got to do that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he got to do that one. I'm good. I'm going to get the long I'm gonna get the long rebound. Getting in there with him? Hey. Oh. <laughs> what were you going to say, j Jabo? No, I'm just saying, like, guards move way more, too, than the big guys. Like, they cut. They move around the basket. They get denied. Like, everything Joey's talking about, like, they get denied. They got to get the ball back. Like, big guys, they get their hand up. They say, throw me the ball. They rely on the guard. As soon as they get the ball, that's when their work starts. That's, that's all you do. Yeah, well, yeah, well, like, Hunter just you gotta, goes you like You got to try to push – you got to try to push him out. You can't – if Zach Eady gets it in the paint, it's too poor. You got to try to push him out. It's a lot of work. And then we got to <laughs> run – we got to run all the way down the court just to run back up, set the screen, run all the way back down, let the guard shoot a bad shot. Then we got to run all nah, the way nah, down. No, no, no. And then we got to <laughs> no, guard I, ball I, screen. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. I The big the big man with that one, I, I agree with that one, bro. For sure. Bro, I, it's way more fun to be a guard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why big men want to be guards. Yeah, yeah, like it's more fun, but it's easier being a big man if you that big. <laughs> Especially if you can shoot. If you can shoot as a big in college, who's switching? That's fine. And if they, and if, and if you do switch, all right, come to the paint. It's over. And if they don't switch, I'm shooting your face off. <laughs> Hunter, you did learn how to shoot, so that's nice. I, I always was able to shoot. They just didn't let me shoot my freshman year. Yeah, you didn't, and then you had a what you hit? How many threes you have last year? Probably around like forty. Yeah, you know exactly the number. No, no, no. I I know how many attempts I did, but I don't know how many makes. Hey, that was. Let me tell you, Jelly. That was a fucking. Um, that was an awesome interview. Um, I was. I felt like I was just hanging out with the boys. I know nothing about half the things about basketball, but that's why I have these two, and I'm the moron. <laughs> So I really appreciate you coming on, bro. Um, everyone listening again, Friday uh, in Philly, you'll be seeing Jelly Walker against Toledo. Are you fi- Are you the 5 o'clock game? Yeah, we're the first game, 5 o'clock. First game, yeah, they're the first game. Um, I'll be there. Jelly's going to be fucking shooting from probably full court at some point. Um <laughs> I'll I'll probably I'll be shooting before the game, showing them. I'll probably make UAB's team before the game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but make sure everyone watches it's on Twitter. It'll be on the Barstool uh, blog. It'll be everywhere. It's going to be huge. I can't wait. That's Jelly Walker from UAB. Thank you for coming on, bro. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. y'all having me, bro. That was, a, that was awesome. <laughs>